I'm pleased to be joined today on Health Beat by nurse practitioner Kelsey Kreinert with Faith Regional Physician Services Family Medicine in Pierce. And today we're discussing milk soy protein intolerance in infants. And so can you explain really what this is and give us uh, maybe the signs and the symptoms of treatment that might be needed? You bet. So milk and soy protein intolerance, also known as MSPI, um, is a condition that can affect infants if they have trouble tolerating or digesting the proteins found in dairy and soy products. Mm -hmm. So both formula fed and breastfed infants can be affected. Um, symptoms tend to appear within about the first two to eight weeks of life and they can really vary from infant to infant. Some of the more common symptoms would include increased fussiness or irritability, particularly before, during, or after feedings. Um, there's probably going to be some stool changes like watery or mucousy stools, maybe some blood in the stool. There can also be spitting, um, frequent uh, vomiting after feedings, chronic nasal congestion, some skin rashes or eczema type skin changes. Mm -hmm. um, there may also be appetite changes like wanting to eat all of the time or even refusing feedings. And then some grunting um, with passing stools, even though those stools appear to be pretty soft in consistency. So there's no specific test that we can do for MSPI. It's really a clinical diagnosis, meaning that um, the provider is going to take a really detailed history about the infant's symptoms and then do a physical examination. Occasionally, um, providers might test the stool for blood. Mm -hmm. This is not a specific test for MSPI, but can just help aid in the diagnosis. And so once the diagnosis um, is made, the appropriate treatment would be to eliminate those dairy and soy products from the infant's diet. And so a breastfed infant, um, the responsibility really falls on the mom mm -hmm. because she has to follow an elimination diet where she takes out the dairy and soy products from her diet. Um, and so naturally, this can be kind of a hard thing for a new mom to do. Mm -hmm. So utilizing a team-based approach um, with a lactation consultant and a dietitian is really helpful for this mom. Um, on the other hand, for an infant who's formula fed, it's just going to be a switch in formula. So switching to a partially hydrolyzed formula in which those proteins are already partially broken down um, is going to be the best choice. So I would encourage parents to talk to their pediatric provider if they have concerns about this come up with a treatment plan together and really get those babies feeling better. Well, that's great information for our viewers. Thank you very much, Kelsey. Thank you. Uh -huh. So that's Health Beat, brought to you by Faith Regional Physician Services.